Oxygen 6.0 Beta 2 is here, and it's a massive leap forward in speed, flexibility, and control inside the builder. New features include inline component editing, a template content area element, masonry layouts, element studio, design sets, workflow improvements, and so much more. This is Kevin from Oxygen. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about one of those small but mighty upgrades. Beta 2 introduces the ability to type HTML tags when adding an element. This works with sections, headings, divs, P's, asides, and any other HTML tag. For example, if we type in section, we'll see all the different elements that use a section HTML tag. Let's add a section to our page right now by dragging it to the bottom of our layout. Within the section, we're going to press Command A and type in H2. We'll click on the text element to add it to our page. Then we'll update the text to something like take to the skies. Now let's assign a class to the section and we'll call it home section. And then we'll apply some spacing using the standard variable. Oxygen's component system now supports full inline editing. Whether you're tweaking an existing component or creating a new one, you can do it all right within the current page. Let's go ahead and delete our previous section, and now we're going to go to an existing component on the page. We'll click the element, then click the Edit Component button to start editing. Let's go ahead and change the icon color to a blue variable, and we'll see that it updates all instances of that component immediately. Now let's set it back, and this time we're going to add a new element like a text link to our component. We'll go ahead and add some text to this element, and then we're going to click off and see that it saves automatically. You can also double click any component to edit it instantly. And here's where inline component editing gets really exciting. Alongside editing components, you can also create entirely new components without ever leaving the builder. Let's start by opening the quick navigator and we'll click on the plus sign. We'll select component and then we'll name it. Now with our component created, let's go ahead and select our post loop builder at the bottom of our design. And we'll have this post loop builder use the new component that we just created. Now let's go ahead and click edit component to open up our brand new component within the builder. We'll start by adding a container and we'll give it the class masonry container. Then we'll go ahead and add an image element. We'll set it to use the featured image. And then we'll add the class masonry image to this element. Next, let's add another container, and this time we're going to give it the class Masonry Content Container. We'll go ahead and type in H4 to add a new H4 text element, and we'll set the dynamic data for that heading to the post title. Last, we're going to go ahead and add a text link element, and we're going to add the class Masonry button to it. We'll then edit the text to say read more, and we'll update the URL to use the post permalink dynamic data point. And just like that, we have created an entirely new component within Oxygen. No new tabs, no reloading, everything happens right here within the builder. And to style this loop, let's move on to one of our next exciting features, the masonry layout. The masonry layout is available for the post loop builder, as well as any loop elements that you can find within Breakdance elements for Oxygen. So let's go ahead and look at how to set this up. With our post loop builder selected, Let's go to our design tab. And then we're going to change the layout of our post list from grid to masonry. We'll set our grid spacing to 15 pixels. And then we'll go ahead and update the post padding on all of our posts to zero. So that way the spacing takes control of our layout. Lastly, for the container, we'll go ahead and add some padding. So we'll set it to 1.5 rem. And there we go. We have a gray masonry layout for all of our posts. We're very excited to announce that Element Studio, the same visual tool we use to build the Oxygen Core elements, is now fully integrated into the builder. This gives you the power to visually define controls, generate dynamic HTML and CSS output, and even use JavaScript all from within Oxygen. There's no need to register elements manually. Whether you're building reusable elements for yourself or your clients, or you're building an element suite that you'd like to make available to others, this is all possible with Element Studio, and it gives you full control over how you create new elements. 
Beta 2 introduces the template content area element. This new element is the replacement for the inner content element that you're used to in Oxygen Classic. Let's check this out by going to one of our single course templates. We're going to add a new section and give it a class like course section. Then we'll add the template content area element. This element allows any page that uses this template to also be able to use Oxygen. So let's go ahead and switch to a page that uses this template now. And now let's add a component. And we'll go ahead and select this test component, for example. And we can see that it displays right within the template content area, just like we designed it within the template. The design library is now available for Oxygen and Beta 2. You can reuse sections, components, and entire layouts across pages, sites, and teams. Whether you're managing a single project or building a scalable design system, the design library helps you work faster and stay consistent. If you want to import a design set, you can do that. If you want to build once and share with your team, that's easy. If you want to make your own design sets available to the community, you can do that as well. With support for third-party creators, the design library lets you build ready-to-use design sets. Oxygen now supports scroll-triggered animations for text and background colors, opening up a powerful new layer of visual storytelling. As users scroll your site, you can dynamically shift colors to reflect changes in tone, mood, or content. Whether it's transitioning from light to dark, signaling section changes, or enhancing interactivity, scroll-based animations bring your site to life. Enable the animation in the scrolling animation panel, define your color transitions, and Oxygen handles the rest. We've made a lot of enhancements and upgrades to the user interface in Beta 2. This ranges from making everything stand out easier within the UI to workflow enhancements that make it easier to apply spacing to an element. Let's take a look at some of these features now. First, you can now set the default unit type for all your controls in Oxygen. Just go to Preferences and go to Default Unit and set it to whatever you'd like. You'll see that all the controls now use that unit and are ready for you to just input the number. Spacing controls have been upgraded to make margin and padding adjustments faster, more precise, and easier to manage. You can now use Apply All and Apply Opposite Actions to quickly sync values across sides. To clear spacing values, simply double-click outside of control. It's that easy. When working with margins, there's an option to center the content to this section. This is perfect for when you're working with content that isn't full width. We've also reworked grid controls to make complex layouts easier to build without needing to manually calculate positions or write custom CSS. Designing with the CSS grid in Oxygen is now more intuitive, flexible, and powerful. Whether you're creating simple column layouts or intricate multi-area designs, the new controls give you the freedom to structure your pages visually. Beta 2 introduces a range of interface improvements that make the builder feel sharper, clearer, and easier to use. We've improved contrast throughout the interface to make text and controls easier to read. Everything now stands out more clearly, which helps reduce eye strain and makes the builder easier to work in, especially during long sessions. Colors across the UI have also been updated for better clarity. Variables now have their own color, so it's easy to spot where a value is coming from a CSS variable instead of being entered manually. And when you enter a custom unit, the input field is now larger and floats above the interface. In addition to these changes, we've made a number of other subtle polish and usability improvements across the interface. Beta 2 also includes improvements to breakdance elements for Oxygen and breakdance forms for Oxygen. Previously, global styles from breakdance elements could conflict with Oxygen, causing unexpected styling changes. We've also addressed JavaScript errors that could occur when certain breakdance elements were loaded in Oxygen. As you can see, Oxygen Beta 2 includes a ton of new features. We have the full change log available on our website, where you can see every tweak, every fix, every enhancement that we've included in Beta 2. We're so excited to share this update with you, and we can't wait to see what you're going to build in Oxygen.